what is happening people so welcome back so quick today i'm going to just do a quick video of how we made our chicken coop door so um this baby is tied up on a string that runs and we uh we open it up on the outside of the coop outside of the run here so just a quick video of how we got this baby made slide up down uh so instead of talking about it let's be about it get started all right so here's kind of like a template of what we're going to be doing here so um, in the middle there, those two by twos, those are like the back. Those will be inside the coop. This is my door, this red thing here. And then the front here is these little white pieces that um, I'm going to put on the front, these little thin dudes right here. And those will stop the door from being able to slide out or forward or whatever else. Those are like a little stopper on the front of the coop, uh, the door where they come, where the chickens come out of. So these two by twos here are um, kind of the back part to stop the back so it doesn't fall back into the coop. So say we set it up like that. This will be the inside and the inside of the coop, these little two by twos. Um, and then uh, it'll just set up like that and it'll be kind of the back part to make sure that the door doesn't fall in. And this two by four will be about two to two and a half feet high to make sure that the door doesn't just go flying up and has had some part to stop on. Huh, so oh. there's my door up. We thought that we were gonna have these uh, two by twos right here, but then that's gonna really make this really the opening really short for them to get through. So decided against that. Instead, we'll throw a little piece of half inch, three quarters inch plywood up here. Now up at the top will be where we put this and that will stop the door from sliding up past where this two by four is. We'll drill a hole in this two by four and we'll drill a hole up here. And that's where the string will fish through, rock and roll. All right, now, so before I sandwich this door in here where I can't move it in and out anymore, we're gonna go draw, draw a pilot hole and then get my little eyelet here and uh, that the string will connect to and get that in there. Now, keep in mind that this door is just a piece of that siding, that hole in that siding right there where the door opening is, that's all this is. It's the same exact piece that I cut. I cut this whenever I made the coop and that's what I'm reusing here. So it's all the same thing. Um, so we put up these little um, half inch plywoods on the side to secure it in there to where it can't bounce in and out. Checked level to make sure that it was sliding up and down how we wanted it. And then for starters, I'm just using nails. I use a nail gun to nail everything in. We'll use screws once we get everything nice and secure and make sure that everything is uh, flowing how I want it to. There's the two by four that I nailed up there. And that's just to make sure that the door doesn't go flying up it gives it a little stopper to rest on uh, and it's open in its open state so we like how that all, that's all looking so we'll screw it together here so, uh, this is just exterior wood screws i think they're an inch inch and a half inch and a quarter something like that so each side and then we'll do it in the two by four and once we get that two by four secure i'll drill a pilot hole right now and that's just going to be uh, what my rope will go through so this is the rope i used 5 30 seconds uh, thickness and we go from there up through that hole up through that hole these are a little bit bigger than 5 30 seconds inch holes i think they're quarter or something like that and then um, through that eyelet and then it'll go out the end After lots of planning there, um, I was going to go out the front, but I said to go out the side here. So now we'll just fish in the string, connects to the door, up the hole hole, connects around that eye hole, comes all the way over here, through that hole and right outside here. So when we fished the little rope in, if you will, we fished it from the outside in and uh, just come in, tie yourself a couple knots, get her nice and secure. 
pretty simple from here on out. And this is where I would say, ta-da! But you can see that the knot is not having it open all the way as we'd like. Disclaimer, I'll have to make that a little bit taller, that two by four, because it's gonna hit right there. So, eh, gotta know. So final product coming through there. Ta-da! I just put the remaining eye bolt I had here and I'll just loop it around. And I'll hold it up. And whenever you're done, you just take it off. Probably put a weight on the door a little bit. Because it kind of gets stuck, but serves its purpose. So there you have it. Um, that's how we made this door. But -da. Um, so just a quick video there. I uh, hope that helps if you need to do something like that. We are eventually going to get rid of this thing pretty soon. Probably get an automatic coop door. Uh, I'm just being cheap and not wanting to spend the money. But whenever uh, that time comes and we're going to do that, just out of convenience, helps with, uh, you know, if we're out at friend's house, don't have to worry about if they're locked up or vacation, anything like that. So um, thanks for watching. I'll be dropping some more videos of what I've learned, things to do, not to do, just my opinions that you can watch. Uh, go check out how we made the coop if you want. Just anything you need from me and my flock. See you next time.